What's up everyone, Parker here from White Hearth Hall. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. It has been far too long since I've been with you guys. I'm sorry about that. Life kind of hit me upside the head with a stick. Um, but the series is back. I'm debating right now, and I want you guys to vote on this. This episode, we won't do anything about this, but I want you guys to vote. Down in the comments. Do you want me to start fresh, or do you want me to continue? If I continue, that means I can give you all the end game content right now. Or, if we start fresh, we can work towards that together. Um, I'm fine with either one. I'm just want to know your guys' opinion. Because we have plans. I have plans. There's tons of stuff I want to do. First off, you may notice there's a few new things. Uh, there's a few new dinos and bases in the base. There's a few new things on my person, like the wolf hat and the wyvern gauntlets. I've been playing around with different things, just enjoying the game. Uh, so one of the things I've done is I've gone to Scorched Earth, transferred some stuff over, I was spawning in Halloween stuff just to test it out and try, I was, I'm just having fun. So I will show you guys what I got, and I'll show you what the plan is for the future, and this video hopefully will be kind of short. And then tomorrow or whatever, however long it takes for you guys to get a vote going, uh... I guess we'll figure out what to do next. Uh, Cause I'll show you what my plans I have and what I want to do, and yeah, we'll move on from there. So without further ado, let's talk about the dinosaurs that we got here. So we have all the basic ones. I'll quickly scroll past all the new dinos. So we have Spooderman, Warren, Price Cakes, Right Price Balls. We have Nugget. We have our Dodos. We have our Turtle, our Overraptor, Dilophos. Dilophosaurus, Dilophosaurus, Dillos, whatever, and Parasaurs, and all that crazy stuff. We got Bodie McBoat phase. We can't forget about that good old boat that I'm still not done with. That's the one thing I haven't touched. Um, so we have all these guys, all the ones that don't have names. You guys can name. If you have already named a dinosaur, don't worry. Go ahead and place more names down in the comments. I got more dinosaurs in the name suggestions right now, people. So if you want to name multiple dinosaurs, then by all means, go for it. I believe uh, Rice Cake and Rice Balls were named by the same person. I have that written down somewhere. Not 100% sure where. I think it was... Yeah, by Jenny Mee. Um, yeah, so that person's got two, uh, two names on here. Anyway, some of the new stuff that I've done is before they added the whole Survivor Note deal, uh, I wanted to see if I can get unlocked the Survivor Hat and the Rex Skin. Well, I didn't make any time. But we have this 180 Brano now that needs a name. We have a Fire Wyvern that needs a name. That has the Wyvern Bone Skin. We have a couple of Jerboas that also need names. Excuse me, Nugget. And when I first logged in, I know that its head's not really rendering. Nugget, dude, come on. Get out of here. Get out of here. Alright, so... Not sure why its head's not rendering. But when I first spawned in on this map a couple days ago. Really, dude? What is your beef today? Anyway, so when I first spawned in a couple days ago, my base was automatically under attack by this dude. And it's going to be a little dark. Let's up the gamma quite a bit. All right. So yeah, we actually had a raptor. Um, it was like a one something raptor. Not super high compared to some of the other stuff I have, but we had one, it was cool. And then he got killed by, by this turkey. And instead of trying to kill it, I decided to tame it. I want to see if it lasts throughout the holiday. It should. Um, but yeah, so we have a super turkey. I need a name. I, I don't know what to name him. I mean, I can name him something. But I'd rather let you guys choose. Alright, so. And for all you guys who are curious about the fire wyvern. If you want to see what he lo really looks like, I'll show you. He looks amazing. Black skin, red wings, red underbelly. He looks awesome. Is it he? Yes, it is he. So, I actually have a rock golem over at Green Ob that is like 180 something that needs a name. Uh, the reason why it's over there is because I can use the land bridge to get where I want to go to build. Um, and I also had a high level lightning wyvern that seems to have disappeared. I have no idea where it's at. So, that might be something we find later on, but 
If not, I'll go get another wyvern. We'll, we'll be doing all sorts of egg hatching and breeding and all that, though. I want to get a permanent base set up. But this place is cool and all, but as you can tell, they've released a lot since I was last had you guys with me on this map. I mean, you got all this stuff on the horizon, which makes this map feel incredibly large. Like, it feels like we're a part of a, a whole new world. Um, now before you start singing Aladdin, uh, I don't know if you can actually access those. I know you can't yet. I've heard rumors that in the future you might be able to go to these islands. Uh, there's some over on the far side of the map below the waterfall that you, can go, that you might be able to go to in the future. But right now you can't do anything. However, the one islands you can go to is over here. Oh, look at that. The lightning flashing on the mountainside. How ominous. It's the redwood biome, which is what I've been looking for to for so long now. Man, this dragon's stamina sucks. Um, where I want to build is actually over there. Uh, what's going on here? Okay, we're going to fly and land to get stamina. Uh, so what I want to do is build over there, and I have already started building off a perimeter. Now, if we do start over, I will be slowly making sure I get all my stuff back. All my dinos back, all my gear back, all of my items. I just wanted to legitimately build this base. I have to grind out the items, even though it's raised stats and all that. But one of the things I do want to do build over here in the redwoods I have a build design already in mind that I've been trying to do on so many dedicated servers it's not funny I've been server hopping for a long time trying to find a new home so that I can play with friends um, and as of right now I have yet to find it because some of my tribe mates are not as trustworthy as I wish they were however a good portion of them are so in the future I will probably be joining some friends and playing with them but what we're going to do right now, we're going to bypass all these cool dinos. Because there's some new dinos that we want to check out. Like that Rax there. Hi, buddy. And we're, I want to show you the area that we are going to build. Or I want to build. More of the tippy tapness in the background. My dog has uh, decided to tap dance for y'all. Um, So, over here, we're going to have to land first to get more stamina. Over here, let's look at our map. First off, I just found something out. Hit right bumper if you're playing. It moves you to first person. You just have to hit it back and forth to, you know, so right bumper to go in, right bumper to go out. It is so cool. I like that. Alright, so let's take a look at the map real fast. You see that bay that's at like 85, 76? around there 85 latitude 76 longitude that bay for the most part you can build a giant water pet and when I say most part is I'll show you I've already tried it I'm gonna have to redo it but I'll show you what I have you pretty much lose half the bay at one point and then it widens out um, but that whole area is really cool it's like this twin falls area because there's two waterfalls over there um, we are going to check that out right now, actually. But what I want to do is I want to build a log cabin mansion castle thing building. There's going to be a great hall. There's going to be greenhouse tower, egg hatching tower, all these cool things. Um, and so as you can see in the distance, the Twin Falls. Uh, so what I want to do is you see those redwoods straight in front of me just to the right of those twin falls that area is actually fairly flat and I want to build there now I've already started working on perimeter with Adobe behemoth kids and which means I have to spawn them in and I'm actually really liking the size of the land I chose so right now we're flying over what will be the future water pen and it's going to be a large one for the upcoming dinos, because I want at least two of each. For the water pen, I might have more, but I want at least two of each so I can breed stuff. Alright, so the perimeter is going to be pretty big. I'll show you what I got. So the perimeter right now, as you can see, here's the behemoth gates. It goes up and around this point here. Uh, I'm using the cliffs a lot 
to kind of be a perimeter right now. And so I have this set up how I want it. Now I need to go through and make sure there's no gaps underneath the gate frames itself, but that won't take too long. And then we have this little point right here. And so pretty much it's going to be all this land from where those gates are to the water. And I'll block off this ramp. I, that's all I got so far, the beam gates. I'll block off the ramps here and there and make sure that dinosaurs can't fall off and get outside the perimeter. But it's going to be a large area. Because they're adding a lot of dinosaurs and I want them all. I want to be friends with all of them. Um, now I haven't quite decided how I want to do... Like, hey buddy. Get off, get off of me, dude. Leave me alone. Dang. Alright, so I haven't really decided what I want to do with like the smaller dinos. And how I want them to do their own thing. But, I will figure that out. The larger dinosaurs will be on roaming and aggressive. That's what I want. I like the idea of having my dinosaurs roam. Um, let's see. Where are we right now? We are heading towards our water pen. I'll show you that real fast before I show you the area I want to build. So as you can see, we're fairly close to the beach here, and here's where the gates start. Now I'm going to have to change this a bit more, because there's a ramp right underneath me in the water, and it makes it incredibly difficult to build around. So I'm going to have to change this point here. Um, if you actually are familiar with this area, right where these waterfalls are, there's a chasm that goes all the way down to almost the deepest part of the ocean. Well, this little ridge here, I'll actually land and show you real fast. Um, there's a ridge right below us right now that you actually can't build on, which sucks. Because you'd have a large uh, water pen. It'd be really cool. Alright. So that Megalodon's going to try to kill us. But you see how there's a seam right there? Kind of right in the middle of the screen a little bit. If you build to the left of the seam, you won't be able to place anything. Go away, Megalodon. You can place stuff on the right to the seam, but for some reason it's not letting you place anything to the left. And you can see that chasm I'm talking about. So, I'm going to have to follow this seam all the way down. And where that behemoth gate was that I showed you is on the very far side of the seam. Now, this area, as far as I can tell, I can build. I haven't quite tested it all out just yet, and I won't know that for certain until until I try it, but I'm pretty sure I can build all around here, meaning it's going to be very narrow at one point and then very wide at another for a water pen. The reason why I want a large water pen is because they're going to be adding the giant squid. I want that, badly. I want to have my own kraken. I'll have like two or three of them. I don't know if I'll be able to mate them, but I want a large area that can it can be in, along with Moses and all that stuff. And I mean, I'm going to do my best to kind of include this little island thing, because how I have it planned, it the water pen is just going to be part of the perimeter. And there's going to be gates coming off from the cliffs here, working its way around all the way to that stone ramp where I landed before, and then back to the other cliff face. And so that way, any amphibious or crocodilian dinosaurs I have can, you know, freely roam in and out of the water. And so that's my plan. That's what I want to do as far as the perimeter goes. Now I'll show you where I want to build. Now I know this episode's not really that exciting. And I apologize, but this is the future plans. Some of the things I do in the future, some of the videos I do in the future are only going to be montages. I won't be even be talking, I just want to build. So right here, between these two giant redwoods, it's fairly flat. I mean, here and there you're going to have to raise or lower some stuff. Man, it's not letting me land right now. There it goes. You're going to have to raise or lower your foundation, but it is fairly flat right here. And so what I want to do is I want to add a great hall, a couple towers for egg hatching and greenhouse. I want to have a loading dock. I want to have personal bedrooms. I want to build this as if I am in a tribe of like five or six, a large tribe. 
I, at least I might try to do that, because that's what I've been trying to do on dedicated servers. Um, pretty much, it's just going to have everything I need. And it's going to be a fairly large base, and it's going to be really cool. Um, on the dedicated servers that I've been on, I've been trying to do multiple thick walls. Like, one of them I was playing on until I had issues with tribe mates. Uh, there was four thick walls, and on the exterior walls, so the outside most walls, I was doing stone and wood to disguise the metal. And actually, it was looking great. So I'm, I have a whole bunch of plans for this area right here. This area is going to be base. Uh, I will be doing a perimeter around this area in particular to, to be able to have a safe spot to start out. Because the area, that large area down the hill here, I mean, you saw where I landed. There was terror birds and carnos everywhere. It was horrible. So until I start getting large carnivores, I'm not going to be able to have very many things roaming out there. I mean, my Bronto might be fine because, I mean, nothing's going to attack a Bronto. But it's going to be insane. So... Until I get at least enough of a uh, dino army going, I'm going to have to use this little area here just to store stuff. So that is my plan so far. That is what I'm doing. We're going to be moving to the Redwoods, and I'm excited because I've been wanting to live in the Redwoods for so long. So guys, I think that's all I have to show you right now. That's all I have to talk to you about. Um, I can go through the different masks, but I think what I'll do is over the next couple videos, I'll just be wearing them. Uh, and yeah, so pretty much that's all I have to say. I will talk to you guys next time. Do me a favor, like, comment, share, and subscribe for more. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, my dinosaurs. I need names. If you've already named something, go ahead and throw another name out there. I don't really care. I just want to see you guys' involvement. That's it. I want to include you guys into my world. To my world of awesomeness. Um... Yeah, so thanks for everything, guys. I'll see you next video. Have a fantastic day.